Did you know that performing CPR, the moment the heart stops, will increase the chance of survival? The slide shows you a chart which emphasizes the chances of survival depending upon when CPR is given to a casualty. The proper steps of CPR can be remembered using the term DRSABC. Initially check for any danger to you, the patient, and the bystanders so that the condition does not get worse for anyone. Next, check to see if the patient is responding to talk or touch. Then shout for help. Ask the help to call the local emergency number. Next, clear an open airway of the patient. If the patient is an adult, then tilt the head fully. Check whether the patient is breathing. Try and understand by any means that is by looking, listening, and feeling the breath. If you find no breathing, start compressions. The ratio to be followed is 30 compressions followed by two breaths. The following slides will guide you how to perform CPR correctly. Given on the slide is the chain of survival. Once the attack is identified, call local emergency numbers as soon as possible. After calling for help, start CPR. It's important to start CPR immediately as the brain damage will start within four minutes from the start of the attack. If the breathing does not start with CPR, defibrillation is given to restart the heart. Defibrillation is a controlled electrical shock which may jolt the heart into normal rhythm. Once the heart starts, proper care is given to restore the quality of life. Stabilized treatment needs to be given by paramedics so that the condition stabilizes. While giving CPR, the first step is to check for response from the casualty. See if the patient is alert. Ask questions and see if you get a response. Find out whether he or she responds to your touch. Can you hear me? Open your eyes and gently shake their shoulders should indicate whether the patient is conscious or unconscious. The main causes of unconsciousness are the airway being blocked or due to stopping of breathing and due to cardiac arrest. Next, shout for help. If there's no response, look around for anyone who can help you. Ask him or her to call the local emergency number, an ambulance, and ask him or her to come back. While calling the local emergency number and the ambulance, inform them about the location, what has happened, and the number of victims. Take proper instructions from the local emergency number. Tilt the head back. Remove any obvious obstructions. Open the airway by placing one hand on the casualty's forehead and gently tilting the head back. Then lift the chin using two fingers only. This will move the casualty's tongue away from the back of the mouth. Look for any chest or abdominal movements. Listen and feel for any breathing sounds. If the casualty is unconscious and breathing normally, put them in a recovery position. Check for injuries and call an ambulance. Maintain the head tilt and chin lift. If there is no breathing, start chest compressions immediately. Go through the pictorial depiction of how to start the chest compressions. Give CPR to a casualty in proper CPR cycles. A CPR cycle comprises of 30 chest compressions and two blows. Continue the CPR cycles until the casualty responds where there are signs of life, such as body movements. Casualty's breathing resumes and when the casualty coughs. When there are signs of life, stop CPR and check for breathing. If there are no signs of life, continue till help arrives. When checking for breathing, there can be two situations. If the casualty is breathing normally, keep the casualty in the recovery position and wait till help arrives. But if the casualty is not breathing normally, continue the CPR cycle until help arrives. While giving CPR, remember to keep your elbows straight. Compress the chest to a depth of 5 centimeters. The speed of compressions should be approximately 100 compressions in one minute. Allow complete relaxation of the chest after each compression. If you are not comfortable or cannot give breaths, keep doing chest compressions as they themselves are quite effective. Continue doing CPR until an ambulance arrives. When the casualty's breathing returns, put them in a recovery position. The recovery position helps keep the victim's airway open. To put the victim in the recovery position, grab the victim's legs and shoulder and roll him or her 
towards you. Continue to roll the victim until he is on his side. Adjust the top leg so that both the hip and knee are bent at right angles. Gently tilt the head back to keep the airway open. If breathing or circulation stops at any time, roll the person back onto his or her back and begin CPR. Charity for the injuries. You're putting me covered by yourself. In this section, we have covered the principles of resuscitations. We have learned about proper steps to be followed during CPR. We have also understood how to perform CPR.